If President Trump wants to turn his jokes into reality, he just might get the chance. I see why am I, Trump challenged Tillerson in an interview with Forbes on Tuesday after allegations that Secretary of State called the president a moron in July, he told the publication, I think it's fake news, he stated of the remark, but if he did that, I guess we'll have to compare IQ tests. And I can tell you who is going to win, well Mensa wants to help settle this once and for all, the High IQ Society, a non-profit which invites intelligent individuals into its ranks, volunteered to host an IQ test between President Trump and Secretary of State Rex Tillerson. The non-profit organization is open to individuals who score within top 2% of the generation population. So, individuals like Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawking gotcha. We're not so sure about Trump, they told The Hill that they'll be happy to hold a testing session for the two men, this ISNT first time Donald Trump has pointed out someone's IQ and praised his own which is what exactly. It won't be shocking if he challenges yet another competitor, I heard poorly rated at morning. Joe speaks badly of me don't watch anymore. Then how come low IQ crazy Mika, along with Psycho Joe, came, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump June 29, 2017 I know some of you may think LM tough and harsh but actually I'm a very compassionate person with a very high IQ with strong common sense, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump April 21, 2013 Secretary Tellerson held a press conference last Wednesday to address the NBC News story, but never actually denied calling Trump a moron, well, President Trump is in luck because October is Mensa Membership Month. They are administrating tests across the country, so we better start looking for his site close by.